Welcome back to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing. The fishing was so good yesterday that I'm back down here at dark and I'm going to try to figure the shoreline out and uh, find that spot. I tried to drop pin the spot. Bobby T was trying to show me how to do it on my phone. Uh, my fish finder doesn't have that drop pin action to it, I don't think. So, at any rate, I'm going to use uh, what I've always used since I was a kid, landmarks and uh, water markings, anything in a four distance, and uh, try to measure it out that way and see if I can position myself in the exact same spot as yesterday and see if maybe some flounder have moved up on that flat. But good morning to you guys. I mean, it's just a beautiful day, low winds. We have an outgoing tide all day long uh, up until 11 or so. So I'm uh, scooting across here. And also full moon was one day this week. So right now, we're not exactly a full full, but we're pretty full. My wife saw it pretty good last night. So the bite may be late like it was the other day. Uh, but at any rate, man, hooked up fishing at a hard hitter. And I'm out here with uh, Matt Man. So we're going to see what happens. Get back with you guys when we get on fish, man. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers. You know, all that stuff is greatly appreciated, man. And uh, with that being said, and I appreciate all the likes that uh, you guys have been, the thumbs up. That's been great as well, man. So at any rate, man, let's uh, hope it jumps off, man. You know, big time. These fish act a donkey like they did yesterday. I had some hot and heavy red fish action. And I'm going to go to the same spot and see what happens. If it doesn't, I plan to go meet up with Bobby T and try another spot. Uh, try to make a full day of it. Hope I don't wear myself out. I plan to fish Sunday with Manny. So at any rate, hook up fishing at Hard Hill. I'll get back with you guys when I get in position and hopefully get on fish. He let it go. playing games. Whatever it is, it's smart early in the morning. He getting my bait, not my hook. See what I mean? Sometimes it's got to make a little bit of a move. I moved out some. The red fish you just ain't big enough. First redfish of the morning. I caught a small sand trout earlier. And I just told Matt, let's move out a little bit. I saw a little bait moving out here. Picked up a fish. My mullet seemed like he got nervous just a while ago, but he didn't take it. So, went from keepers yesterday to rat reds this morning. That was on live shrimp, though. I got a mullet out. See what happens. I put me a clip on oh, that mother jumped out over there. Pay too much for mullet. I can't let you jump out, buddy. Whole lot going on. Ain't nothing happening. You must want to go out there and catch a fish, but you're going back in the live well for right now. Bobby T's in another location. 
hopefully if he gets on fish before we do we'll go meet him over there hooked up fishing like subscribe hit that like button man comment I try to get back to all you guys comments but I'm in the same place I tore the fish up yesterday and uh, waiting on 930 or 9 o'clock that's when they started yesterday it's 7.30 now, 7.37. And uh, I'll get back with you guys when I get on fish. On a mullet, uh, I told Matt to move out a little further, and he's going for a morning sleigh ride. Let me get my phone. He's standing up as he's hooked up. Hooked up fishing, baby. He's on a good fish. I'm gonna head that way, cause I'm gonna. God, dog, uh, that hard hitter. I gotta get you. Uh... Okay. Good morning, guys. Matt is on his first sleigh ride. He's getting pulled out. You guys can't hardly tell, but a redfish. I'm gonna try to zoom in here, y'all. Matt is on a sleigh ride. He's trying everything he can to hold on to this fish. Big Red? He's got a big red fish on. I mean, hooked up fishing, baby. Matt is on a sleigh ride. I told him to move out a little bit, and uh, I don't know who's winning, him or the, or the red fish right now. He was over here by me, but now he's, uh, he's headed east, it looks like. Looks like he's headed east. East on uh, Interstate, uh, Texas City, whatever you want to call it. Hooked up, baby. It's not Christmas, but Matt is on a sleigh ride. You got a net, right? Redfish after redfish after redfish.
his mullet out there in position. Okay, Matt's made it back, hooked up fishing. <laughs> He's gonna raise this up for you guys can see what took him on a sleigh ride. Uh, you wanna come over here with my rod rule? Find out what the length is? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try to get a quick measurement here. Say damn near 40 or something, a little over 40. Yeah. Because all I go is the 30, and it's way past 30. Hooked up fishing, man. Matt Man's the biggest fish of his life. Mm -hmm. And I mean, hey, dude, we're trying to revive him for her. Just drop her in and out of the water and uh, just kind of like slosh her back and forth. Yeah. Hard, though. She'll start kicking in a minute. But uh, we're trying to bring her back. And then you can, once you get her kind of going, get, grab her by her tail and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And then she'll let you know she's ready. But uh, you get one red, you get one you, red. Yeah, you can right? tag it. Yeah, you can tag it and keep it. You know, if she dies. Well, yeah, tag it and keep it. The biggest fish of your life. You know, nothing wrong with this. Especially if you can't revive her. It looks like she's fucking up. She, yeah, she ain't gonna make it. Well, it comes when you buy your fishing line. Yeah, it's on there. Okay. It's on there. Well, I just gotta pull the tag off. Yeah, pull the tag off and spring it on there. I'm gonna come in and spring it up there. Yeah. But she may come back and say, good night, man. They eat good, you just have to cut that bloodline out. Hooked up fishing, baby. <laughs> Where legends are made. <laughs> as soon as that cork hit the water. Trying to come back? Yeah, I think, I think he's going for it. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and tie it up. There you go. It's a good fish. <laughs> I didn't turn the camera on because it didn't feel like nothing. After catching all those good fish yesterday, a 17-inch drum don't feel like much now. Hooked up fishing, baby. Next day, different results so far. Have a little bit of fun with puppy drum. Touching the live, broken live mother right now. Have to get out of some of these clothes anyway. Hooked up fishing, baby, trying to make it happen. I have shrimp. Maybe I get a keeper here. Rough day this morning. Totally different from yesterday. I said I'd stick with the live shrimp until I. Figure something out. Hopefully this ain't a hard head stand down. He is, he in trouble. Nice drum. 
don't know if he's gonna make it. And he got all them other line, of course. in the net. Cut the line. Live to fight another day. I thought I was going around the other line, but I went right into it. Don't need to do that because I've got a good mullet out there. These started biting late yesterday. I left them biting. But my cousin loves these, so she might get some if they start coming in here 17 inches like the last one. Sixteen inches. Texas puppy drum. Need drumming. Don't drum for the camera. Talk. Texas puppy drum, drum again. There you go. Hooked up fishing, y'all. Get back with you when I get on good fish. Uh, it's a tough day from Time yesterday. To get up on this flat. They did. He ate a big mullet. I'm gonna hurry up and get him. He still got it halfway down his gut. He's not even hooked. <laughs> That's what I told you. They just be holding on to the mullet. He wasn't even hooked. He wouldn't let go of that mullet though. I just pulled it away from him and now he's flopping around. Why you couldn't be a 30 inch flounder? Not even a keeper. Not even a keeper. 13 inch fish, trouble fish. Me and Matt are out here trying to figure it out. The boat got a beeline on us, hit it right for us. You can't catch a fish. Start looking at him, stare at him. You stare at them when they're coming, and it, it kind of, you know, like they're staring at you, stare at them. Makes them feel guilty for pot licking. In salt water, they call that pot licking. See somebody catch a fish and start to hit it straight towards them. He's turning now. Well, we're having a tough day, Matt. Uh, got one good fish, good keeper red. I'm catching puppy drum and a little bitty small flounder just then. Uh, I'm gonna keep at it. The bite started around nine something yesterday. It's 9.40, uh, six right now. So I'm gonna give it another hour and then if not, burn off. I'm going to call Bobby T and ask how he's doing. But Hooked Up Fishing, man. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate all the likes, subscribes, and comments. <laughs> Thank you, man. I couldn't uh, ask for any more. Get back with you guys when I get on fish. noise for a puppy drum. Nothing's touching the mullet I got set out there. Caught a few rat reds earlier. Now it's time for a small puppy drum. Got two keepers. Get him out of here. Got a little small flounder on the mullet. I mean, that puppy drum fought like he was somebody.
Dirty South, I'm having fun with your chemo fish. Took off like he was somebody. Ain't nobody. Fourteen inch puppy drum. What a difference a day makes. I killed a fish yesterday in his exact spot. And today, scales. Some days fish, some days scales. Okay guys, welcome to a closing segment of Hooked Up Fishing. And I ran into a very, very, very wonderful lady that is heading something super important to all of us. So with any, without any further ado, as they say in show business, I'm gonna introduce you guys to Miss Rebecca. And she can inform you as to what she is down here doing right now better than I can and better than I can explain it at home. So, Ms. Rebecca, will you step up here and tell these guys what you're doing? Sure thing, love to. Hi everyone out there. Um, and uh, what a wonderful show that you put together. Um, it's a beautiful day out here today. Um, I came to kind of just come out and see the area. Um, working with uh, some folks with Lone Star Legal Aid. Uh, we are an environmental justice team that uh, of lawyers and we and advocates. We uh, work with uh, communities all across the Gulf Coast uh, to uh, help people who are overburdened with pollution issues and other environmental problems like infrastructure issues that cause some displacement or other issues like this oh. um, it's very very uh, a, a lot of a lot of issues and it's a new team so we've been going for about two years now mm -hmm. um, at Lone Star Legal Aid and uh, why I'm out here today is because um, we uh, found out recently um, that um, there's an ammonia plant that wants to set up in Texas City um, and their their plan is to uh, Put a pipeline under the channel and load tankers, uh, load the barges from the middle of the Texas City Channel. And their permit says that they want to um, be putting 2.2 uh, million gallons of wastewater a day into uh, into the bay uh, right there by the Texas City Dike. Uh, so it's a small area that will get overwhelmed by that wastewater. Um, so right now we um, we have a shrimper who's uh, been in Galveston Bay for 40 years. His name is uh, Roy Lee Cannon, um, and we are representing him um, in this fight uh, against. Uh, so we're doing a, a challenge of the permit right now. Uh, there are two permits uh, going on uh, under review. One is through the um, uh, Texas Commission on Environmental Quality (TCEQ). Uh, that's for the wastewater and stormwater permit. Uh, the other permit is through U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, um, and that one um, is still under review. Uh, that is for the floating dock. Uh, wow. So uh, the the uh, harbor pilots are uh, are not happy with this, so they are putting comments in. They're not they're not happy with the plan. Uh, also, I understand that the um, the port of Texas City is not happy with this plan either. Wow. Uh, so, but the city um, had given, uh, offered the company uh, 10 years of tax abatement, um, and so they are looking at the financial gain uh, right. through the city. Um, uh, as I understand it, there, there has been a, a lot of discussion lately, so, um, you know, these plans are being proposed, uh, they're being looked at very carefully, and we are on board to um, help community members who, um, whose livelihoods and um, you know their interests are at stake here right this sure. and the bay is at stake so okay well um lee's bait camp uh has a, a shrimper his name is lee and if you look into uh, going over to lee's bait camp i'm sure he will be quick to jump on board like that other shrimper you did he's been stripping this area for years he's he's also um you know in a position to where he has a lot of say so and enough money to kind of get behind you guys and I'm sure he'll jump right on board because he shrimps that that uh, channel that you're talking about. 
David. So, yeah. so, so awesome meeting you, Miss Rebecca. It's wonderful to meet you too. Thank you for your time. And uh, we'll we'll be sharing more information with you soon. Okay. Uh, we'll we're writing a a newsletter story about this, and um, if you want uh, to ask send the questions, link. Send we'll the send link. the link, yeah. and you can get in touch with. Um, our our attorneys and our legal aid at Lone Star Legal Aid in Houston. Sounds good. You guys remember that. All right. Lone Star Legal Aid uh, and Ms. Rebecca. Environmental Justice Team in Houston. Environmental Justice Team in Houston. We do not want any more contaminants into our water system. Enough is enough. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. This is a very important message. I'm going to share it on every single video until something is done. All right, thank you all. Awesome, Miss Rebecca. Great to meet you. Yes, we're done. We're Bye -bye. hooked up. You already know who that is over there. Hooked up fishing. Good morning. And hopefully good fishing to us out here. Me, Manning, and uh, Jaime are out. And welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing. And we'll get back with y'all when it goes down. Hopefully it will today. I got a concoction I mixed up. I'm going to put a live mullet and a live shrimp with no weight tandem in this area where I can never get these fish to fight. I'm marking hundreds of fish on the screen. When I say hundreds, it's just loaded. They're all four foot deep, five foot deep. Ah, get up there close. Just tons and tons of fish. And every time I come here, I mark these fish like this and have heck getting them to take anything. So I'm coming up with something that I've never done before, and I'm gonna hope, hopefully it's gonna work. So uh, stay tuned, because if it works, you'll know real shortly here. Hooked up fishing at Hard Hitter, Manny Fresh, and Jaime over there, posted up chasing bait and fish, fish that are chasing bait. We out here early, so we got all day to try to make it happen. on the popping cork, huh? He's 14, but that's too close. Mine came on a shrimp. If I get him on the mullet, it'll be a, maybe it'll be a big one. I got up there next to that reef. It's nice up there. Nice little drop off. I can just get the fish. And redfish ought to just be ganged up around this thing. This time of year, man, you normally can't get a, a bait back for a big flounder. I mean, big flounder. All of them over 20. You 
love this spot. Yeah, mine was 14. 14, but I don't like it when they're just 14. Put them on ice, you get a ticket. They don't give a damn. This is what I left off catching. Bigger than this though, puppy drum. Yeah, he didn't, nothing hit the mullet yet. That one pump went out. Thank God I got another one pump. Oh man, hold on. He nailed that go. Do not shake the hook, man. Chill out. Where you going, dude? Man, he's jumping all out of the water. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Calm down. He saw the net. Good flying. Yep. Come on, man. I act like a rook. I'm gonna lose the fish. Oh, no. <laughs> Bow. One in the bag. One in the bag. One in the bag. Four more to go. Gulp one, mullet zero. Hooked up fishing, baby. <laughs> All hit out here, man. Got Manny Fresh, got Jaime, and y'all know what we finna do. We gonna get hooked up, baby. I called it right. Bobby T, you know where I'm at. Don't tell nobody. Hey, man, this a dude. I can say that. jumped up and nailed that. I mean, like I was swimming it through there. I got so much stuff going on. Well, it'd be a shame how unorganized I am right now. Hooked up fishing, baby. I was down there working at Gump. I got live mullet and live shrimp out on a tandem rig. And, uh, Caught two small flounder. Uh, it's like it always happens over here this time of year. I got two. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get a measurement on you, baby. <laughs> shock, shock the world, got thing. Shock the world. Oh, I like it when they're 19 and a half. He almost in, he, he a dude on a flounder. He 19 and a half, he a dude. Look where that gulf is at, ladies and gentlemen. I want y'all to see where this gulf is at. You want to see magic? To make a gulf disappear. Gulf gone. Get on. Can I have my girl back, Mr. Flynn? Please. Ah, I had him good. Top of the roof of the mouth. Oh yeah, I had him good. What y'all know about that? That girl. Deadly. Deadly.
Your camera zoom in, you want to get a picture and piss them off right quick? Sun at my back, it ain't gonna look good, but it's all good. How, is zoom in close enough? That's all right. I take selfies with fish. <laughs> People take selfies with they self. I take them with the fish. Man. All we gotta do is work this reef hard, bro. From one end to the other, back and forth. For what? No, they ain't. A flounder eat a six or eight inch mullet. You'll find that. A dude caught one on a chicken leg, crabby. He had a whole chicken leg in chemo. He was crabbing and didn't want it. He gave it to Paul, my partner. Patience, man, it hooked up big time. That redfish going yonder way. Let him get in the anchor. What is it? Stingray. You gotta be kidding me. Look at this. Lord have mercy, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Get away from me. God, dog. Uh, man, they got a freaking 40 pound stingray on a mullet. Jeez Louise. Bad camera time now. up in there, man. I got two of them on. Stingray on this reef 
office body goes from a reef that's on two and one and two foot of water to 12 and 13 foot and usually I catch the fish on that drop off not today I have to go home with my lone flounder 19 inch flounders it's all the bounty for today so that'll go with some of the red fish and stuff. I go home and start filleting. Hooked up fishing. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. I don't do stingray.